That's I literally said that hold earlier. We should hold our money. Nah, dude. Thank that's, you. That's why yeah. I got my this strat. on all the money. That's not my strap. See, that's why we have him as a banker. Who's our property manager? You? Me. Mm. Oh, Michael, Michael just kind of steal him. Okay. All right, everybody. <laughs> what is up? Welcome to How to Round Net. Today, we got a peculiar podcast. We are playing Monopoly. We have Michael Sue, Austin Rawlings, Kevin Bailey, myself, wearing the nice shirt signed by Grant Laughlin. What up? Um, how it's gonna work. We're playing Monopoly while podcasting. I know it's a lot to think about, but we're gonna try our best to narrate what's happening. You know, turn by turn might be a minute or two, so don't get too scared or freaked out if we don't update you on what's happening. Um, anyway, that's the gist of what we're doing. We may or may not finish the game. However, I will win. So if we don't finish the game, just know that I won. Uh, anyway, let's freaking get it. Mm -hmm. Turn one, go for it. Question one is going to be for you two, the wieners from last weekend in yes, Huntington sir. Beach. You're talking about me. I'm talking about you and Kevin. Speaking of which, you got Baltic Avenue. Great job. Good purchase. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Good Big purchase. old dub. You can win your game with just that, I think. <laughs> Speaking of winning your game, yeah. it seemed like you carried Michael Sue all weekend. I disagree with that statement. I agree altogether. with that statement. Just give it. Just give us a overall recap on the day, what your plan was, what your feelings were. I mean, I know that we were there. I know we were probably your ideal uh, final competition. But uh, yeah, give us a rundown. Starting with Kevin Bailey. Uh, so I would say, so Mike, right when I decided to come out to California, the very next day, Michael messaged me and said, "Hey, Kevin, what are your thoughts on this? Me, you, Huntington Beach." And I was thinking in my head, how did he even know? Also, good pronunciation. Go to Huntington. Huntington Beach. Because everyone says Huntington. Huntington Beach. That's good. how he said it in uh, Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, how'd you know that I was even going to California? But that sounds like a lot of fun. We're going to have a sweet highlight tape as my money flies away. Uh, so I just wanted to have a good time. I didn't know what the competition was going to be. I didn't know you guys were even going to play in the tournament. Okay. So. That's $8, please. Michael just made eight dollars off of uh, Connecticut Avenue, <laughs> big old bucks. Uh, High rollers. So you didn't know that we were playing. You didn't. You just kind of said Michael Sue. Michael Sue. Tape. I'm if down. Michael Sue asks you to be on his team, you have to say yes. Now what? Yeah. Now what is reasoning behind that though? Uh, Purely his highlight tapes are sweet. Very nice guy. Very energetic. So you know that during the day you're gonna have a lot of fun regardless of how well you're doing. And we just so happened to do well on top of having the most fun of anyone at the tournament, right? That's true. We did have the most fun out of everyone at that tournament, um, mostly because we're both fun people. But uh, and everyone else sucks. <laughs> no, yes. not no true. one else is fun. Yes, and no one else is fun. But uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. We kind of went into the tournament just wanting to play and just play our game, see what happens. Uh, I don't think anyone was expecting us to win, us included. Um, but somehow we made it past Jared and Duffy. We didn't have to play Preston in the finals, which was big. Didn't get to. Play. Didn't get. Didn't get didn't. to beat Preston. Well, we didn't get to how to round it, how not to round it. That's true. That was the dream. You know. That was the ideal, but it it didn't happen, and that's okay. We uh, we ended up taking it home, and that, that's all that matters. And that was your first tourney dub, right? Uh, what are we counting as? I've won a lot of local tournaments. Okay, before we get into that Monopoly update, Kevin, give us what you have. I mean, I'm going really hard right now. I have Baltic Avenue, States Avenue, so we're moving around the board. Just so one pink, one brown. Snagging properties. What I have I have one light blue. I also just landed on a community chest. Also, I just rolled a double. Oh, oh a double round net ragamaroo rapid wait, fire. Mm -hmm. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Do you like bacon? Yes, 100 percent. Yes. Yes. Newly found in the past few years, I've really liked bacon. Crunchy or soft? Uh. Well, 75th percentile crunchy. Boom. 80. Ooh. Crispy. Crispy. <laughs> crispy? Just crispy. No, no, cr crispy, crunchy. Crispy. crispy. Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crispy. Crispy. yeah. Okay, yeah, back yeah, yeah. to it. Austin, awesome. what do you have going on for yourself? Um, So I rolled the same as Michael in my first turn and owed him $10 of rent. <laughs> Unfortunate. And then I swooped up another blue at Oriental Avenue. Any hoosers, back to users. I need to uh, collect ten dollars from each of you. Oh my, Lanta! He wins tournaments and he takes our money. You, you stack the deck. I really did. Stack the deck. Thank you. Thank you. Um, take that money. There you go. Take your money. Okay, back to Roundnet content here. Uh, what? So this weekend, I know obviously about fun. I know you didn't get to play us. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know that Frederick Hinkle. I mean, he's kind of my main topic, dude. You're just following Michael around. 
<laughs> uh, Austin just landed exactly on the same spot as Michael again. I also rolled double fours. Oh Another my god! Round that rapid fire. Uh, this one's got to be really quick. Um, if you were to walk on Legos or walk on ice cubes, what would you rather do? Legos. Easily ice cubes. I got some ice scar cubes. on my leg. Ice cubes. Uh, I, I choose ice cubes. Okay. I got a big scar from a Lego. <laughs> Fell on it. So um, but no, Fred, Frederick Hinkle. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So he wrecked us. Yeah. Like yeah. wreck a Ralph wrecks Obviously. buildings and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, you go again, by the way, Austin. No. Yeah. Um, no. How was it? How was it playing him and Cade? Don't double as you roll again. Yeah, you get to roll no. again. Yeah. Wait, what? Is yeah, that yeah, a thing? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh. It is. It is. It is. I didn't know that's a thing. Yeah. Michael yeah. didn't get to roll again as These guys well. don't know Monopoly. Uh, he played right. very well. well and Cade's Oreo. Uh, Cade was. I never seen him play before, and he was very impressive. Uh, all around player. Mm-hmm. Hinkle was serving the ball better than I had ever seen him serve. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned before the finals, you said if Hinkle is on, you guys are toast. Yeah. And when he was, uh, that's bucks. that's true. He was acing us the whole time. Did he? Hit, <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> I rolled the exact same. Oh as my Michael. god! Oh, Twenty-five bucks. Austin's oh, literally man. just following Michael around. Um, but I feel like he doesn't really have too much trouble. I mean, I saw a few aces. He was on and off. He had like some very good ones, but mm-hmm. I think that this happened throughout the day for us. Is the first game in the series we kind of got used to serve returning them, and then once once that set in, we adapted and we were able to serve return better. So yeah, I think that's kind of what happened. He mm-hmm. but he still he ripped some really good serves. I was super impressed with the way yeah. he played. Um, one thing I've been thinking about a lot. So obviously, I mean, you've been Kevin Bailey for a while. And everyone kind of knows you. you've been, you know, Since up and I was down. Born, that was I'm saying, but I like co-ed wise, you've made a few appearances. You know, podium wise, you've made a few appearances. Sure. Um, obviously, you are newer to the podium. Um, this was an SRA thing, but uh, mainly for you. And Austin, don't worry, we'll get to you too. How <laughs> I wrecked you and everything. Uh, <laughs> but confidence in terms of like community knowing you, in terms of like going to the Spike House. Yep. For both of you, but mainly you, Michael. How much? How much did confidence like going into this tournament? You know, from the past month you've had. Like, how much does that help you? It, it helps a lot. Um, so going into the tournament, didn't have much confidence just because you were in the competition. Jarrett was in the competition. Austin was in the competition. Like, we had, we had a ton of huge names in there. And ever since uh, being invited to the Spike House by you, did you just go to jail? I just went to jail. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> wow, well, money everywhere. Ever since going to the Spike House, um, I, I got to play against you and like a lot of other pros and just, just like mind, no. see how far above me everyone else was. So yeah, but like winning this tournament, even if I didn't have to play you, it still it still boosted my confidence like a lot. Um, but it's like the energy like it was different than just Michael Sue energy. It was like I can do this Michael Sue energy. I can sue this. I can sue this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I, I would say that's right. Catch, huh? Like once when we got to the uh, semis. After game one, we lost, and I looked at Kevin, and I was like, Kevin, we can win this. Yeah. And I don't know where that came from, but I it might have been with how Kevin and I, like our chemistry for him that day, but we uh, we were, we were found our stride, and we ended up taking the next two games, which is huge. That was definitely huge. And I saw your backhand ace and all that fun stuff happening. Um, Austin, mm-hmm. getting you in the conversation. Watching Michael Sue, Kevin Bailey, Frederick Hinkle, Cade Zorio. Yeah. I believe that's his last name. A, would you put them all in the top 100 players as of now? B, where would you put each of them? Because I feel like you're Ooh, a good yeah. logistics kind of guy, and you kind of know what's what. I want to okay. put you on the hot seat okay. here. Yeah, I know we have Michael. A, I know we have Kevin. That's a tough question. Um, big. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to observe both semifinal matches and the finals. Um, Literally observe, not just watch. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. observing. Um, so I thought... Frederick was really impressive against you and Ryder. Um, I, he, in that list of four, I think Frederick would be the highest. Um, okay, we'll need- get back We'll get back to where they stand. But everyone's yeah. top 100? I would say yes. Okay, good. That's good. Yes, everybody in that finals is top 100. Okay, but we put Frederick at the top. For sure. Mm-hmm. And then, then who else? Um, then I would probably... <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Austin has not rolled a single time of what Michael has not rolled. They just keep following each other around the board. 
This is what, like five times Whoa. now? It's four. four oh my now. gosh, four times. Well, you did win a tournament, so Austin's trying to learn some things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Frederick. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, uh, Kevin really <laughs> impressed me with his serve receive. I think uh, there are a lot of good servers at this tournament, and he hung with them probably from his experience against all those Michigan Michigan ballers. He adjusted really quickly. Marino and everything. Um, Michael honestly surprised me the most. I hadn't seen him play much, uh, but he hung in there, played clean. He, he had some clean sets that, that saved a couple points, was generating breaks with his backhand. and um, So then I'd go Michael after Kevin, and then Cade. Cade. However, Cade being the last one, this is love for Cade. Against us, especially, I mean, he held like ninety percent of the time. Yeah, in service even everything. His you know, service even was really solid. You know, I think the only thing that puts him below is like he wasn't generating quite as many aces breaks. Yeah, but like besides that, he's pretty consistent. Oh. Yeah, playing against Pear and Buckman, I think probably helps helped his serve receive a lot against you and Ryder. So, in terms of rankings wise, mm-hmm. he's trying to get away from saying where <laughs> what? numbers. He's trying to get away numbers. from having to answer that. No, 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 numbers wise. I mean, you could do you could do like a okay, general, like general ten chunk. You could do like yeah, yeah. twenty to thirty. Yeah, you know, kind of thing. Or you could do like a, a ten, ten you know, point like window. Like ninety to hundred for Kevin. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, sure. I'd probably put Frederick in the jail, baby. fifteen nice. to twenty five range. Frederick. Yeah. Oh, that's you weren't a even big in jail to begin with. You, no, you, I went, you put, you I went to jail. He was in jail. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> you, put your, you put your duck at the go to wait, jail. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think that that role should count then. No, it does. I don't think no, it does. No, 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 get out of here. It counts. <laughs> Comment, see if you count. <laughs> I, 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 I put myself in go to jail except for jail. I was literally going to jail and then I just said, but you, you weren't know, in jail when you rolled in. Also, I don't move. Do I move or do I? Either, you just get out of jail, you don't go again, your turn ends there. But also, it's time for a rapid fire question. That's true. Okay, uh, but doubles. 15 to 25? Yeah. Was Frederick. For Frederick. Just for all you out there, if mm-hmm. you heard that. Um, quick update on Monopoly, and then we have a quick rapid fire. Um, Austin is following Michael on the board. They've hit B&O Railroad and then Community Chest. I don't think they've gained any properties. Mm. Um, I have Oriental still, and I'm in jail. Kevin is still master collector over here. Yeah. He's got, uh, what, Tennessee, Baltic, and States now. So orange, pink, and brown. Um, yeah. Normally purple, brown. Normally purple. Anyway, um, I just rolled to just visit jail, but we got a double double roll, which means round at Ragamur rapid fire. Uh, question is from Michael's brain. Go. Uh, how many ducks uh, are ideal for a for a pet? <laughs> go go one go one. I'd say honestly two, because then you could have baby ducks. I go zero. What? You don't want zero. Duck. I mean, none okay. of us, none of us have a duck, yet? so I'm, Dude, as one many as I'm just saying. One. I would, I would personally, I would go. Uh, <laughs> if you're gonna have ducks, though, like if you have to have more than zero, I would go with two. Give him a friend. Right. Yeah. Because right. you want a lonely duck. That'd be sad. I, I mean, would... that's kind of ducked up, right? Okay. I'm wait, 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 wait. Austin, <laughs> back to you now. Back to me. Back to you. So Frederick, fifteen twenty-five. Yeah. How um, he was playing, or just always. I I think Frederick's really solid. Please. His. His serve receive really impressed me. His serving was nutty in that semifinal match against you and Ryder. Like, mm-hmm. one of the best serving performances I've ever seen. Um, and then I'd put Kevin in the 30 to 40 range hey. right now. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Bye. I'd put Michael Sue in the 60 to 70 range. 69 is still a vibe. I want 69. Can I get 69? 69. <laughs> yeah. 69. Wow! 69. That's, That's a big bang. one. Heard it here first. Um, and then I'd put Cade in the 90 to 100 range. Okay. Probably. But still all top 100. Stop. Still top 100. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, enough about that game. Let's get into something a little more uh, applicable to the whole world here. Lips. I know we briefly mentioned it before we actually started doing this, mm-hmm. um, but this weekend I feel like everyone was very aware of what a bad serve was. At yeah. least in my, at least in like in the uh, advanced community, you know, people who play more often. You see them at tournament stuff. There's definitely those select few people who you know didn't know what they were doing. Did you just do something besides mine? Possibly worse. <laughs> possibly worse. I still don't have a problem. Uh, Austin, he got off Michael's tail and he went on luxury tax to pay a hundred dollars. Uh, anyway, so lips and stuff. For all of you, I mean, do you feel like people are slowly understanding what lips and roll-ups and pockets are? 
And do you think it's more universal? Do you think it's just the fact that like Fred Hinkle was there and like I was there and like I feel like we call it pretty strict. But I mean, I feel like it it felt good. Every everyone's mm-hmm. kind of on the same page. No one was really taking any cheap shots or anything. Um, Kevin, we'll turn to you for the first instinct because you're also from Michigan. Um, maybe it's different across the across the uh, you know, um, escape here. Yeah, I think uh, there's enough people that are doing cut serves now as opposed to even like 12 months ago where now it's so much more common that you owe me money, by the way. Mother of gosh. Yeah, let's go. I just lost 15, fi- 15 bucks, dollars. So as I was saying, more people have cut serves. Almost all the premier players have cut serves, which means we see it way more often. So we're far more confident knowing when it's a lip as opposed to a clean serve. So so just because it's serving is advanced, everyone kind of, from their own perspective, knows what it looks like? I believe so, yes. Okay. Michael? I haven't seen that much of an issue with it in any of the tournaments. Recently? Because I know like yeah. a year ago, I feel like yes, it def- was like, definitely you know, you'd have top players just swooping yeah. up points left and right because every mm-hmm. newbie was like, I've never seen this. You know. Sure. Last month or so, I'm in jail. S- stupid game. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to jail, mother. <laughs> um, yeah, last couple months, I feel like. You're not visiting. Pretty solid. Them. You're in jail. You're in jail. All right, Michael, what's your take? Uh, pockets, roll-ups, people calling it clean, good, Did better. you pay me? I did. Mm-hmm. I think... I think uh, I think the big thing is people are getting more confident in calling them in the first place, um, and so I think, yeah, I don't know. I for me personally, I'm getting more confident because I, I can now I've played so much I can see the ball like as it, like track it more, um, yeah. and be able to tell if it's a lip and if it's if it's something questionable. Like I feel like all the premier slash pro players like know. Or have a, have a good understanding of like what a lip is yeah. nowadays, and I think it's hard because there there are, there's a lot there's a lot of lips in tournaments. I think it's just because serving is so advanced, like people are hitting it like really low, and uh, it just it, if the serve's really low, there's more of a chance for it to pocket back up. Right. Well, yeah. I just think people are getting better, so they understand what it is from their point of view, which is good. Um, Austin, any uh, big commentary you wish to? Uh Ed. Yeah. Also, Austin, side note, has just gotten his first two properties, wow. uh, Vermont uh, and Virginia Avenue. So he's got a light blue, which means all three light blues are now taken. Uh, and he's got a pink, which means two of three pinks are now taken. Moving up in the world. And Kevin is still in jail. Um, any takes on... Just like lips in general, pocket. or yeah. like maybe it's getting over, yeah. you know, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I just think your from takes. observing those uh, semifinals and finals games... Um, I think Stupid generally people are realizing more and more what is a lip, but also I think I did see a shift in what is actually being called a lip. And I think um, as serving uh, gets better and better, you know, watching you serve, watching Frederick serve, you guys hit it, are hitting the ball so hard um, that if it's not a front pocket, it's mm. spending time on the net and rolling and, and lipping up, even if it's not going super high um, w- with how low you guys contact the ball. So I think there is kind of a shift in, in like, if there's any change in upward trajectory, people are, are calling lips. Right. One thing I actually like a lot um, is I feel like the overall audience and like the viewers who are watching, whether the top players or not, I feel like they're more, like, I don't know, they're on like top players from not taking those easy points. Because I know for a while there, people get all butthurt, you know, because like, you know, someone would take an easy point on some lower skilled player or just you know someone who hasn't played as much. Um, and I think that was just kind of like something that happened that was kind of shady. But I feel like you know, like for me and like Frederick when we were playing, every single serve I you know hit bad, and people like talk crap to me as is. But like every single serve he hit bad or I hit bad. Immediately, everyone's like, you can't take, you better not take that, you know. Yeah. I think it's just widely accepted now that, you know, lips are something that happen a ton, and there's something that, you know, can be uh, tracked fairly easy compared to what it was. But, yeah, so, I mean, I think we're all kind of in agreement that they're being called more. Um, quick Monopoly update, though. Um, I have a question. What? Passing, I'm in jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I pay $50 for passing. Instead of rolling the dice like free three, parking. three, three times, do free we? Parking. If I pay fifty dollars, can you get out? Then I get out this turn or next turn or what? This turn. This and then turn. You move next but then turn. you move next turn. 
Kevin is paying fifty dollars to get out of jail. We're not cause... taking that risk. Yeah, We're not yeah. taking that risk. No risk. Mm-hmm. He's That's just going for low it. monopoly IQ. If you just roll, he yeah, did put, it. Put yourself in just visiting. I'm visiting now. Uh, anyway, I got Park Place. Big old moves right there. Uh, I got Waterworks. Not very big moves. Michael just got his second railroad to Pennsylvania. Um, Bang! So he is he is moving. He is chugging along, as they say in the Monopoly world. That is what they say. Uh, all right. Next topic of discussion. Um, Natty's got canceled. Everyone was very obviously upset, but at the same time, it was very obvious that it was going to cancel. So I think everyone wasn't too uh, upset. Michael, this coming. This is coming to you first. But um, what the what? What money in the sky? Let's go! Wait! 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 Michael read the chance card over Dude, over my shoulder. Guys, he knew it was coming. <laughs> it was a little You gotta unfair. do what you gotta for do. For those of you watching, for the 100. you know what just happened. For those of you listening, this isn't real Monopoly. That's not apparently. This is so real. Apparently, there's a rule. In a trash. chance card, Austin literally just took the stack of hundreds and yeeted them in the sky, and then we had to go freaking dive for the hundreds. Uh, I just got off the ground. I just up, got eighteen hundred dollars. Wait, 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 wait. Keep what you catch and put any bills that land on the ground back in the oh, day. Oh, so they no one got money. On no one got any money. I didn't read Woo-hoo. that close enough. Woo! False alarm, there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better about that. I feel better. Yeah, I was like, that was I super still... unfair. I'm partially on strike. This isn't real Monopoly anymore. What is this? this? What is this card? <laughs> I just yeah. lost eighteen hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. Easy. That was eighteen. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? You I, just like, I just won. Hundreds in the air. That's the first bad thing that's happened to you, like Whoa, all week. that yes. Yeah, <laughs> take that. Your luck is ending. It's true. Um, I'm on the decline. Oh my gosh. So anyway, Nationals got canceled. Uh, and then Taylor Sanford said, psych, I'm hosting it. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who's going, whether or not should or should not. I think that's a personal opinion. Uh, people are going to make their own choices. You know, we're all adults except for Will Picone. Um, uh, he's a child. Um, <laughs> you are the baby goat still, Will. Um, but A, will you guys be going? B, do you know of any top teams? I know myself, I'll be going as boisterous. Spikers is going to be there. It's in Utah. Um, but besides that, I really don't know what's happening. I just, I'm just curious, is it going to be a sick event or is it going to be, you know, whatever. Maybe sick was not the best use uh, of words <laughs> good, there. Good, good one. Anyway. I, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll probably go. It, it's not 100% sure, but I'll, I'll probably go. Okay. Austin? Um, I don't think I'm going. I, I could drive. Um, which would make it a little safer for me, but, um, yeah, I don't, I, right now I'm not planning on going. Okay. Kev, will, uh, Michigan guys be coming? Cause I'm like curious about Marino. Like that's somebody I haven't had the pleasure of playing against or seeing in person. That is a great question. Um, um you might be going, you might not be going. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going and I also... I'm not sure if any of the Michigan group is going or not. I know our group chat, we kind of were discussing it a little bit. But kind of like you were mentioning, a lot of those Michigan guys, it would be really cool to see them come out and play in like a big national event like that yeah. because there's so many people, especially on the West Coast here, that have heard of the name Marino, Thomas Hamilton, whatever. Right. And Those were the little two names I was thinking Thomas, of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they haven't seen them play recently. They don't know how good they are now. And I can say... I've seen them improve so much over the last few months, even during quarantine, that I would love to see them get to play all these different teams from out of our region. But okay. Still up in the air. Yeah. I think everything everything's kind of up in the air. I just yeah. know that I'd be down to go to Utah and spend another week there and hang out. But I'll probably drive, you know, same thing, travels, whatever. Um, but interesting question, and we can go around the horn here. Um, if nationals were to happen, and every top ten team, whatever you know, pro division was a thing. Who's who? Who's your top three? Who are you taking? And also, for some reason, if you say like CS is not in the top three, you know, or we're not in the top three, or whatever, you have to describe like who they got beat by and when. Just because. Fair. Yeah, I need I need some hot takes here. Uh, Austin, okay. We'll go with you. I feel okay. like you have a good mind for these things, oh, or you just have nice takes, <laughs> and not everyone's gonna hate. Maybe you do. 
Um, in my opinion, I think Boisterous is, is clear number one. I don't think anybody um, comes... Cl- and this isn't <clears throat> just me <laughs> stroking your ego. I think, uh, I think you I'll and Caleb serving would be unmatched. Once you buy it, I'll buy um, it So us as one? Yeah, you as one. And honestly, I think the other teams are really going to be up in the air. I think there's a lot of room for upsets. Um, seeing PJ and Andrew lose um, a couple weekends ago, you know, that's, you know, some of the best players from the number two and number three teams in the in the country. And right. I did, they, think did they drop two again? They lost to Coleman, right? Coleman and Thomas Hamilton. So, you know, if, Boy. if you saw a, like a a Thomas Hamilton and Ryan Marino team up for nationals, that kind of serving could go really far. Um, Yeah, I think we're seeing even more serve ball this year than we did last year. And Mm -hmm. so I I think CS definitely has a good chance of being upset. Okay, so you're not you're not sure about two three whatever. I'm not sure. We yeah, got a potential but, uh, trade coming up right oh, now. Oh wait, we got we got a monopoly in inter- our intermission here. Uh, what do we got going on? I want to give away my Connecticut and New York Ave to Kevin for his Baltic Avenue com- to complete my brown. Set. What a terrible trade! You know what I'm saying? I'll take that. Absolutely. Right, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Michael gets the weakest monopoly on the board. However, Still, the only at this point. Hey, I at the end Start of this building. podcast, I'm going to be winning. Okay, I mean that's that's, that's fine. Cool. That's fine. Um, and slight monopoly update overall. Um, I currently hold Reading Railroad, St. Charles Place, Park Place, Waterworks, Oriental Avenue. So one light blue, one dark blue, one purple, or pink, sorry, with a bunch of other. Eh. See this? Michael is buying his first hotel. I have two of them. <laughs> oh, his first. Whoa, 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 two whoa, hotels. Whoa. What did? You, how much? Five hundred. How much? Oh. Money? Going Let's hard. do some math, okay? Fifty per each house plus another fifty for hotels. Four <laughs> houses is two hundred bucks. So I bought eight houses and then exchanged those for two hotels plus an extra more, uh, plus one hundred extra more. That would be uh, five hundred. Five hundred bucks. Which I paid. It happens. Bang! <laughs> so he's got he's got hotels on the uh, no tell. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's a good move. But there. it's a good move. Bad it's move a good move. Kev. No, no, just wait. Kev just has wait. two oranges, just one light blue, a and a game. pink. It's a long game. No, it's not. So it, is a, it is a long <laughs> it game a long ish. Game. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, so you said you said boisterous. I can't Austin catch a break. It's me. Get out of here. Oh, I just wanted to have the have the mic have the mic. So I will also say boisterous number one. Ooh. CS number two. Can someone remind me all the other teams? Uh, we'll put it this way. There's hot hilltop coming in. Everyone's hyped on them. It's not gonna be hilltop. It's not gonna be hilltop. It's not gonna be hilltop. Um, um, trippy. Oh, trippy. Toast. I want it spikers, to be trippy. Spikers, toast. 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 Um, toast. You Mammal. have mammal. True. Mammal. I think that's kind of the top contenders. I, I think you have that anchored. it could be. Oh yeah, anchored. It could be between trippy and toast. Honestly. Some uh, trippy toast, just trippy toast. Toasty lizard. I don't know. What Coleman. Toasty Coleman lizards? is looking really good lately, good. and he's also playing well in spike ball. Yep. Uh, <laughs> True. So, I feel like toast could could be as good as the third best team in the in the country. In I the think world. in terms of yeah, I, I just serve ball right now is such a and that's my next topic of discussion. We yeah. can get into it, but I think I think it's so used to it. Boisterous, trippy, and or toast. Yeah, make a decision. Who's better? Who's gonna win? I mean, I said boisterous is gonna win. No, 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 no. But who's gonna win? Two, three. Oh, you said CS. Two CS. And then three is. I, I want to say. Who's winning the three four game between Trippy and Toast? I'm gonna say Toast. You have five after, seconds. You have after five seconds. Coleman and Thomas won against three. Andrew Card and PJ, I'm gonna say Toast. Toast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Also, so, give me this. Let okay, me, it's your turn. Let me make some plays here. Also, I just got free parking. Everybody, I'm all no about that cares. free free. Uh, <laughs> Michael Sue. What's up? Top three and or four. Boisterous Bro. CS Toast. Boom, just like that. Yep. Who's get Who's getting the fourth? Who Who is Toast beating in the three four? Probably hey, can, trippy. Can you I don't give know. me uh, two hundred eighty dollars. Trippy, trippy, trippy fam. Trippy, yeah. Okay. Um. Big trippy fan. I feel like I don't I know. I love I, trippy lizard. Yeah. 
Shameless I feel plug. like CS Boisterous are not going to meet up in the finals if what? they were to play. I don't know. I just feel like something weird's going to happen where either we like or you're they drop. Stop playing round net and play pickleball instead. Yeah, yeah, that could happen for sure. Wait, are you still uh, talking about hypothetically if everyone showed up? Yeah, yeah, hypothetically if everyone showed up. I just feel like I don't know. Everyone this year has gotten so much better, and like I mean, like we just dropped to Frederick and Kate. Given that's not me and Caleb, but still, I mean, as everyone knows, Ryder's a beast, and like you know, there's a fair you know, square losing. It's not like anything, you know, it wasn't like primarily the rider or primarily me. It's just like we got beat, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like so. this Nationals, if it were to happen, was go was going to be, you know, just something outrageously different than what we expect. Well, Minus boisterous. I think, I think with Caleb, how Caleb played in Utah, I think he is going to shock the world and just obliterate humans. And I think I'm getting better. Um, but I don't know. I think it'd be crazy. I don't think Trippy would would beat Toast. I think Toast would be the three, as of what I've seen. Um, but yeah. Oh, Austin, you get to go again. You roll doubles. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, uh, do you know what doubles means, Michael? Uh, doubles oh. means run it, ragamaru, rapid fire, random question from Austin Rawlings. He rolled it. Oh, shoot. Um, favorite alcoholic drink? Hmm. Uh, like a chocolate monkey or something they make in Mexico. It's like chocolate milk and some weird alcohol. I don't really, I don't really drink, so I'm not really the best. Okay. But chocolate milk same. with some sort of alcohol. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, like that a lot. Kind of the same boat here, but Michael and I had a celebratory drink. We did. It was after the good. tournament. What was it called? Just Slow Brew. I have SLO. no idea. You bought it. It's called just Slow it. Something. So Whoa. that's that was it because I like <laughs> we were in a good mood. We were in a good mood. You know why? Why? Because cause we won. Yeah. That's why we're in a good mood. <laughs> and we had a sick highlight video coming up. True. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. I, don't uh, know. I like pina coladas. Okay. Do you get like it caught in the rain too? Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah. Okay, I was just checking. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I like a good uh, margarita. Margarita? Ooh. I okay. get to roll again, right? Awesome. Let's roll, roll again. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I won't land on the income tax. Nine. <laughs> Hey, that would be mine, my friend. What do I owe you? Avenue. Ten bucks. Yeah. Ten bucks. For you, I'll make it twenty. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. I am taking a, a big power move here, and we're gonna speed things along. Whoa, 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 whoa! With whoa, a random whoa, whoa. Okay. pass out of property. Fine. Because we need to like speed that. this thing on here. So all I'm doing, guys, if you're not watching, if you're listening, um, we are going to randomly receive properties, and then we are going to play out to the death. This is massive. This is massive, this is a huge is move. Um, I haven't even passed go I'm yet. I'm literally just gonna start handing them out, starting with Kevin, because he is our first player, even though he has the most stuff. Actually, you know what, who's no, in last no, place? No. Definitely me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely, definitely me. Definitely me. Definitely no, me. not Michael. He has he has a monopoly. <laughs> it's definitely Mike. I have no, it's, I have three three problems. it's definitely Austin. <laughs> it's not it's definitely Austin. <laughs> I've hit income tax. Okay, like Austin's times. receiving it, then I'm receiving it, then Kevin, then Michael. Austin. Stupid game. He got uh what'd you get? Illinois Avenue. Illinois, he got a red. I got St. James Place, orange. Kevin is receiving a Kentucky give, Avenue give red. It, give it to me. Let's go. Michael hey. is getting <laughs> third line. railroad. Third railroad. You got blue. Oh yes, I'm I got Atlantic Avenue. Take North easy, Carolina, easy, green for easy. Kevin. Marvin Gardens to Michael. Hey. Electric Company to Ooh, nice. Austin. And then last but not least, another green to Kevin. So real quick, okay. go around, what you, say what you have colors-wise. I got two greens, two reds, two oranges, one light blue that I might just rip up, throw in the garbage because it doesn't matter, and also States Avenue, which has given me a lot of revenue so far. And by that, I mean $10 from Austin. Michael, what you got? <laughs> two brown with hotels. Three railroads, one yellow. Austin. I got a light blue, a pink, a red, a green, <laughs> a dark blue, and a utility. <laughs> so uh, I have... I have I'm not going to use I have about the same setup as him except for two yellows. Uh, I got an orange, uh, purple, uh, light blue, dark blue, waterworks, and reading railroad. Yellow for railroad. Uh, yellow for railroad. That's a deal, my friend. If you throw in whoa, five dollars. Whoa, 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 whoa! Really? Five dollars. Give him Make that? ten. Okay. <laughs> Make <it> ten. <laughs> oh god. Now I now have yellow monopoly, yes. uh, and it is actually wow. my turn, so I can buy hotels on that. Heck yeah, you can. Heck yeah, I can. Michael Hasu is making moves in monopoly here, folks. Yeah, hey, uh, awesome. What do you have? Red for two green. Give it to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're a clown. What else do you have in your hand? Can I see? We're making hand trades here, folks. And then we're getting back to round it, but we're about to speed up Monopoly. <laughs> Green for two red. All right, let's get back into it. No one wants to watch this thing. Dude, this is this is big moves right here. We'll just, we'll just talk around that for a bit because I got some. I'm scheming. No, I'm not just gonna take that right now. Let me think. Okay, I'm gonna buy six. I'm gonna buy six houses real quick. Sick. Boom, boom, and I'm gonna put two on each what of those. What else do you have? And two of these. Okay, um, we're talking. We're talking future. Okay, there's been a lot of talk in the past few months, in the past whatever, um, changes that need to be happen that should happen. What do you guys think? Does it need to be changed? I know Ali Rogers posted up something that got like 16 million trillion responses, and most people said there needs to be some slight change. Um, but in terms of change, I think we all kind of agree there should be some change. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I know we don't really know what, but everyone keeps asking me, keeps asking top players, you know, like why and then what needs to change. Um, Kevin, I don't think we started with you in a while, so you can take us away. Give us your take. What you like, what you don't like, what you've tested, what you haven't tested, all that fun stuff. I am a very big believer that there needs to be a change, uh, and a pretty big change, because the game is not as fun to play or watch as it should be, and people aren't able to showcase their athleticism to the degree that they should be able to in a game that is as cool and unique as spike ball. So round net, round net, round net, delete that. Uh, <laughs> So I would say definitely it needs to be a change, and the change that I would propose is slightly taller net and slightly bigger ball, combo of the two of those. I've tested out both, and both of those options make it harder to play offense uh, and easier to play defense, which is the biggest issue in my opinion. So, so big I'll, ball, tall I don't net. Have a, I don't have an issue with cool serves. Cool serves are cool. I think cool serves are cool but, as well. Uh, I think that the fact that every single player is either – an ace, a miss serve, or a one-two-three put away. That's just not fun to watch, and that's not what's gonna make the sport of round net reach its full potential. Right. So. I just think there needs to be more ways to win than one. Because yep. right now there's one way to win. Absolutely. And there's one reason why you lose. Yeah. So I think people exactly. like Jarrett Rouse, Fitzy, and all that stuff. You know, they need to have a way to win, and right now they don't. They should be rewarded for being as great at defense, strategically and athletically. Well, everyone so. should be. You know. Yeah. Anyway. Michael? I'm with Kevin. I I would awesome. be down for a, a bigger ball and taller nets. But, um, yeah, something something to take away all the points being aces or misserves or one, two, three. Because we, we, we watched our finals game from the tournament, and the only reason we kept watching it was because we were in it. Right. And if, if it was anyone else, it would just be like, okay, this is kind of boring. And that's the, that's coming from us who, like, Round net is life. Well, and and it, and you're newer to winning. Yeah. Which I feel Very like good. I feel like if that's your first big tournament win, that kind of speaks to change being something that should happen. Mm -hmm. You know, because I feel like for me, like when I first won my first tournament, you know, like I was just electric because I had so many crazy plays. Yeah. You know, I was like, "Whoa, this is nutty!" You know, and like I could watch it back. But like it is disheartening to hear you say a little bit. You know, because that is a, that is a big tournament. You know, like we were there. Um, you know, Frederick Hinkle is a boss, Cade Zorio, you know, there was a solid team, Jarrett Rousack, Duffy. Um, so it is kind of unfortunate to hear that, but I do hear that. But what change would you uh, implement? I know you've done some testing, done some whatever. Um, what change done. What change would you uh, implement if you if you had to choose right now? Bigger ball. Bigger ball. Mm -hmm. Just just like like a pro ball bigger it's or like – like a dodgeball consistency, anything in particular? No, I, I like, I kind of like the pro no, ball blue. material they have right now. No, they're blue. Um, yeah, it's maybe just like a bigger ball of it. I don't know. Yeah. Austin, give us a take, and then we, I see there's some potential trading going on here. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of discussions going on, so we might just have to pause the rest of this until the end of the podcast. Okay. I mean. Or I can just say it right now. All right, Austin. <laughs> Before you talk about Monopoly monologue coming your way. Yeah. Before you talk about different changes to rules. Let me see your hand again. Yeah. The hand. Let it's, me see your hand. Let me see your bad. hand of poker chips here. Here's my thing, and I'm in last place. I have no incentive to help you win over Michael. Here's the deal though. You I gotta... have two of these. I also mm -hmm. have two of these. Yeah. And I have what you need as well. That's correct. But if I if you if I give you two cards mm -hmm. and you only give me one. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm giving you too much. 
So all right, we have second, ten seconds. Ten second seconds to make a trade. Pain. Ten. I also want boardwalk. Nine. Eight. I want to make a trade with you. Actually. Seven. Six. This orange one right here. Five. Yeah. Can I have that? No. Four. <laughs> three. You have Just nothing to offer. Two. All right, Austin. Final trades have to happen now. No way. Now. Yes or no? Now. Give me green. And then I get the yeah. Boom. Trades okay. happen. Bang. There it is. There it is. Uh, Austin now has red okay. monopoly, and Kevin has green monopoly. <gasps> And moves to be made. Um, Austin, give your little take, and then we're going to do a little kind of final takeaway, what you like, what you don't like about the community. I'm just kidding, what you love about it. <laughs> um, and then we are going to finish our Monopoly game. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, change needs to happen. I would be a proponent of a bigger ball. Um, I think serve ball, the issue of serve ball is a problem because hitting is too easy and defense is too difficult result at like the best way to get a break is by going for an ace right. and so um i was i talked to skyler back in december about my problems with the pro ball and i just think it's too easy to like manipulate it's too squishy i guess right um making it like you can change the direction of your hit with by changing you know yeah, just like curling your smalls. fingers or not yeah. and that's like pretty impossible to read as a defender right um so i think if the ball had more structure and was like firmer it would slow slow down hitting a little bit just like make reactions a, a little bit easier um and a slightly bigger ball would um make it happen. you know mm -hmm. make those touches um happen a little more frequently hmm. yeah i see that um yeah anyway so to uh, everyone listening or watching uh you know top players we don't want change because you know, we just we just want it. You know, we just like we have this. Wow, like I want I want to be better at the game, so let's change the game. Um, we all want change, I think, and you can disagree with me or not. Uh, but we want change because you know we we see the potential of round net. Um, so you hear you hear top players talking about it. You know, it's not because you know we just we want to be the best at games, so we're gonna change it to fit our needs. It's more just like I see the potential of what this sport could be, which could be the greatest spectator sport in the world. Um, but right now, I think we all kind of feel like we've hit a wall in terms of spectator friendliness, and now we are falling off that wall. Um, so that's kind of my two cents on that. Um, I know there's a lot of negativity around the concept of change, but I think it's all coming from positive places. Um, so that's kind of my final take on that. Um, last thing, and we probably won't be finishing this Monopoly game. <laughs> However, we will be uh, updating you because we're going to finish the game regardless yeah. at the end. Um, but biggest thing I always ask at the end, first off, does anybody, what? You don't have enough. I do, I do. Oh, Austin's mm -hmm. out of money. Maybe. Um, first thing I want to ask is what is your favorite part of the community? What got you into it? What keeps you in it? Um, you know, maybe a favorite memory, maybe whatever it is your interpretation of the question is. Um, I just want to hear some happy, positive things. You know, I know Caleb Heck, you guys probably saw that podcast. Um, but it was Man. just it was just him talking about you know how much he loves community and like don't be too serious. So any words of wisdom, I guess, is what I'm looking for for the youngins. I'm gonna roll again because once I roll too. Oh, ones, Austin, Man, double this master. guy, this guy. Austin, after mm -hmm. you're done rolling, then you're gonna take us away with some happy thoughts. Yeah. And then Kevin, then Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> like the game is fun. It's not as fun as it could be, but I think what keeps everybody playing is the community and um like i think it's just it's so great to you know just come down and uh like stay with you for a month uh you know get to play have that tournament in huntington you know a bunch of people went out for dinner afterwards and just hung out and it's i think um it's so cool just having friends all over the country getting together um this year it's been a lot harder to do that but just getting together a couple times a month for turn you know tournaments it's like an excuse to hang out with some really cool people and and it's so cool how inclusive it is like i, I haven't experienced that playing any other sport right. and um yeah it's just for some reason spike ball just attracts some attracts some really awesome people yeah for sure I would say the same thing. Words, uh, words of wisdom, anything? Spike ball definitely does. Round net definitely does attract some very
very cool people. Um, and just how inviting the community is and how it's so easy to become close friends with people uh, in the community. It's more than just playing in the tournament. Sometimes, I know it's something that I always say is the tournament weekends, everything is so much fun and you almost forget about playing in the tournament itself because everything outside of that is just such a blast mm -hmm. and so enjoyable. And we have a we have a trade going on here. Hold on yeah, a second. Yeah. What is going I'll on? I'll give you boardwalk for your second utility and. What if I just give you everything? Okay, for. Yeah. That's uh, what I would say, Michael. Your turn. Wait, I want some cash. So I still want. <laughs> this is like, huge. I have like fifty bucks. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> hey, Preston, that's hold great. on a second. Which bucks. ones are you <laughs> giving? No, no, no. Okay, there you go. Hmm. I just got boardwalk uh, to make a monopoly with Park Place, and I have yellows. Wow. This is, I'll trade you my this browns is for blues. Mess. No one cares about your trade. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below, is that a good them. trade? Okay. <laughs> they have hotels on them. Also, I got some trade options for you. Also, are we pulling off houses and everything for full value? No, no, no. Half value. Yeah, yeah, you Okay, cool. The, yeah. Okay, go. I think you just went. No, I haven't. I haven't oh, you meant for the question. Just, anyway, Kev, wait, wait. Give it, give it your final say. No one cares already, about Monopoly. I already did. Okay, good, good. Any Mine. words of wisdom, though, besides love the community and travel? Words of wisdom for who? New newbies. People listening to this. Uh, words of wisdom, I would say you will become the best by being the most passionate about whatever you're doing, whether it's a sport, whatever it is in life. So it, it all comes down to how passionate you really are about the sport of round net. And if you're able to <clears throat> actually apply that passion into practicing, studying film, whatever it is, if you want to be great at it, it comes down to how much you truly believe in yourself and how passionate you are. So, and mm -hmm. also play against players better than you because that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's everyone's first thing that they usually say. Yeah, I've got some words of advice for newbies in regards to the community. I have some words of advice for you. You should make a trade with me after you talk about that. that sounds good. Um, I started going to tournaments in 2016, but I didn't really like meet a lot of people until like 2018. Um, so my advice would be just, if you're somebody new, like we love meeting new people and come up, say hi, like talk to us. Um, I think it was getting connected with the community that developed my passion for the sport, not the other way around. Um, and so, yeah, don't be afraid. I think I was really intimidated at first to go up and talk to people. It's like, who, like, they don't know who I am. Why would they want to talk to me? But um, I think I've learned that, man, everybody recognizes that Roundnet is great because of the community, and we just want to keep bringing more people into that. So right. if you're at a tournament, come say hi. Don't be afraid to, uh, to meet new people. Perfect. Michael, uh, we're going to pause Monopoly real quick, um, yep. and then we'll give you a last little takeaway of what we're doing in Monopoly and what we're doing in Roundnet terms. But... Words of wisdom, anything you want to add? Yes. Um, so basically, I'm I'm the probably the newest player here in the competitive scene. I started playing. My first tour stop was Seattle of last year, 2019, May 4th, 2019, and uh, nobody knew who I was. Uh, I knew who everyone else was, but that's just because I loved round net and I'd gotten into it and uh, watched a lot of film and stuff and highlights. And my piece of advice would just sit, would just be to like put yourself out there and just go up and introduce yourself, because the community is filled with people like Preston, Kevin, Austin, who will take the time out of their day to get to know you and to say hi to you. They always want to meet new people because they love the sport. They love like the way it like brings people in. They love the community and they want to be part of that. And the entire reason I'm here playing Monopoly is because I was on a Zoom call one night that was just randomly posted on Facebook. And Preston was there, and he started talking about how uh, one of the other members, Trip Pearson, had came out and trained with him in, uh, here at Santa Barbara and got a lot better. And I, kind of, I was kind of like, ah, oh, that sounds awesome. I want to do that. And so I started talking to Preston. Eventually, Preston invited me to go to the Spike House, which I'll admit I did not belong there if we're judging just by skill level. And uh, But I went anyways because I was just like, I'm going to meet a lot of the pro players for the first time. I get to spend a month with Preston and hopefully get a lot better. And um, I did that, and that was all because I took the time to reach out to Preston and say, 
hey, what can I do or what, what will it take to come out and train with you? What will it take to make me the best that I can be? And honestly, if you just go for it, it's, it's low risk, high reward. Like I'm, I'm sitting here with these amazing guys just playing Monopoly. We're just hanging out. And like it's not even like being friends with these guys isn't even like, like what can I do to get better around it? Like teach me. It's just like I love these guys. I want to hang out with them and it's fun. And that's just who the community brings in, just like fun loving people who just want to play games. And if you just want to be a part of that, you got to put in the effort to, mm -hmm. to put yourself out there. Um, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the first time I've ever heard it said, but low risk, high reward. I think that's, I mean, I think that's around that community in a nutshell. Like mm -hmm. it's, you get to play, you get to play sport that, you know, as limitless opportunity tons of fun um on top of that you get to hang out with in my opinion and i think most everyone's opinion who's involved with it the best community on earth mm -hmm. um but it's really like low risk i mean like i think the the low risk the risk part of it is like you know maybe you spend an extra bit of money or time you know investing into playing the sport um, but i think the reward like you said is, is super high i mean you get a community around the world of friends mm -hmm. you know it, whether you know them or not i mean i went to you know europe just recently and you know, literally just posted on Facebook and was like, yo, I'm coming. And, you know, random people that were my, you know, at that point, strangers in my life. Now there's some, you know, great friends that I have connections with for life. Um, so low risk, high reward, I think is a great takeaway. And I think it's a great way to end this. Um, but we are going to finish playing Monopoly. I think at this point, we're all kind of sort of even. Um, we got Monopolies all around the board. Austin's losing. I have 55 bucks. <laughs> so. We got 55 bucks. Um, and to end it, we're all winners here at the Roundnet community and Roundnet Monopoly. However, someone's going to be the ultimate winner in Monopoly. But um, if you're part of the community, you're already at an advantage there. Um, so if you haven't gotten enough from the last podcast, hopefully this podcast helped you out. We we'll just go and take that extra little step into the community and, you know, invest in yourself by investing in the community. Um, but hey, if you're if you're watching on YouTube, comment down below who you think is going to win Monopoly. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll give you a, like a five-second blooper at the end just someone dancing because they just won um okay <laughs> i think it's fair I like that. um also lastly if you guys have anything they want to follow you on or whatever obviously if you haven't the subscribe button is below for how to round net just click that if you're listening to this click the follow um but Smash yeah any, anything like really anything really quick bells. i don't care if you follow me but follow everyone that makes content in the round net community because you guys deserve a shout out for how much you're doing for the sport. Whether a rule changes or not, the sport is in a good place because of how much you guys are doing. People like HDR, uh, whether it's the Spike House, whether it's all of this awesome content that you guys are putting out, I would say follow everyone that's doing that. Reward them for the time they're putting in, and it's just going to make the sport better. So, But also follow me if you want to. <laughs> his name's Kevin Bailey. Name's I don't know Kevin. his Instagram. Here, here, I'll make it easy. <laughs> I'm also going to win this game. This, this is Kevin's Insta right here. This is Austin's, and this is mine. <laughs> Ryder's I'm like, dang it! <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, uh, Austin, 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 anything? Uh, yeah, uh, follow, <laughs> follow, 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 follow me. Follow that one. Austin Rawlings on Instagram. Sick. Here's the link to Michael's highlight video. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, uh, let's get a yow on three, and let's get out of here, and let's finish this game. Okay, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah! Deuces! <laughs>